Illinois bred cutting fillies are out for the third race. Remember, number six, Mamita, has been scratched. And number nine, Sassy Marla, wears cutting hobbles. Number one is Call Me Lucky Seven, owned by Clarence Parker of Clayton, Bill Mallon of Mount Sterling. Tom Simmons will drive. Number two is Confederate Rose, owned by Carol Heidbetter of Sherman. Kay Willis of Beecher, Dale Heitman up. Number three is Ardo Winnow, owned by the Mystical Marker of Farms, Jack and Peggy Hood of Illinois and Indiana. Dave McGee driving. Number four is Fox Valley Diva, owned by Sally Watt of Carbondale. Andy Miller drives. Number five is Cardinal Suma, owned by Phil Langley, Milton Jacobson, and Daniel Seymour of Illinois, Florida, and Wisconsin. Doug Hamilton driving. Number six has been scratched. Number seven is Defiant Victoria, owned by John and Linda Howard of Sherman, Illinois. Sam Widger driving. Number eight is Budgate Margaret, owned by Robert Buddig of Hinsdale, Illinois. Rick Schrock in the bike. And number nine is Sassy Marlowe, owned by Mark Franson, Barbara and Gail Austin of Big Rock and Morrison, Illinois. Tony Morgan will do the driving. Here they come. They're off in a trotting defiant Victoria trots out with authority for Sam Woodger as the Phillies race to the first turn. Along the inside, Confederate Rose is there second. Our DeWin is trotting third between the Phillies as they race three wide into the first turn. It's defiant Victoria on the outside by about a half a length. Ardawinna between Phillies and now Ardawinna trots up and gets the lead for McGee. Ardawinna leads him by a half a length. Defiant Victoria is on the outside second. Confederate Rose is racing third. Call Me Lucky Seven is fourth on the inside as they trot around the first turn. And now from the outside, the uh, new uh, leader is Sam Widger with Defiant Victoria. Defiant Victoria leads him up the back stretch by a length and a quarter. Trotting second on the inside, Ardawinna. Confederate Rose and Heitman are on the move from third. And now up on the outside, here comes Confederate Rose. On the inside, Defiant Victoria. On the outside, the new leader now. Confederate Rose, she leads him by a half a length. Back to second is uh, Defiant Victoria. But here comes Fox Valley Diva and the Miller. Fox Valley Diva powers to the front. And this undefeated Philly now leads him by a length and a half as they race past the half in 101 flat. Fox Valley Diva, the new leader by two and a half lengths. Confederate Rose is back there second. Defiant Yankee is racing uh, third as they trot now over to the 3 8 mile marker. Call me Lucky Seven is still racing fourth on the inside. Moving up on the outside now, FIFA's Budgate Margaret. But it's Fox Valley Diva trying to remain undefeated. And this Philly's powerful at the head of the stretch off the three quarters at one, 31 and one. Fox Valley Diva now leads by 10 lengths. A late move by Sassy Marla. She comes up to take over second. On the inside, Defiant Victoria is still there in third. But all alone, one of the most impressive performances we've ever seen here in the elimination. Fox Valley Diva, home by maybe 20 lengths. Battle for second. Defiant Victoria on the inside gets it. Sassy Marla was home third. Cardinal Suma, fourth. Valley Diva is a two-year-old daughter of Ombro Charger from the Super Gilmer Wada Volo, bred by Fox Valley Standard Breads in Sherman, Illinois. Their beautiful farm located just north of here where they stand Ombro Charger, who many times has been the Illinois trotting sire of the year. The annual Land of Lincoln Standard Bread at sale is this a Sunday at the farm. Over 150 yearlings will sell at the Fox Valley Standard Bed Farms in Sherman. Sunday beginning at 12 o'clock. Mini by Ombro Charger, who is the sire of this very impressive filly. Fox Valley Diva, now six for six in her career. 
She's never been beat, and she was extra sharp today. Last quarter in 28 and one-fifth of a second. Owned by Sally Watt of Carbondale, Illinois. Trained by Irv Miller. Second win of the afternoon for Andy Miller.